Hello, I'm Jenny. This is a memory that I have from my childhood that still to this day, I have no idea what it was. So I was born in Texas, raised in Mexico, and my parents wanted me to stay in Mexico. I grew up with my grandma, but I never knew my grandpa at the time, but it was the first week of school and I was three years old at the time and had to go to school. When I was in school and finished my classes, I always went to these arcade games with some friends, but my grandma always got mad at me because I returned so late, like around 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., and I also had school the next day. One day, I went to school and then to the arcade games with my friends, and I'm not gonna lie, it was 1 a.m., and my grandma was waiting for me, but she said, if you return late again, the weeping woman will come and get you. Honestly, I never believed in anything paranormal or ghost, so I didn't care. For those who don't know, the weeping woman is a legend that goes on in Mexico, and in Mexico they call her La Loria, but she caught her husband cheating, so she grabbed her children and drowned them, and she also drowned herself. And there's a rumor that she can be heard at night crying, saying, where are my children? Oh, my children. So one day, it was a Friday, and I went to school as usual. My friend said if I wanted to go to the arcade games because they were going to celebrate one of my friend's birthday, so I did, and then it went past 12 p.m., and I told my friends I was leaving because I didn't want my grandma to get mad at me again. So I was walking, and in Mexico, there's not that much lighting, so it was pretty dark. I noticed that one of my friends that went to school was with a lady in a white dress, but she had long black hair and she was really pretty. So I passed them and said, good evening, but my friend and the lady didn't answer. I thought it was pretty rude and they were walking to the very dark street. So I said, eh, they probably having a bad day and continue walking. So I went to my house and my grandma was sitting in the couch waiting for me as usual and I decided to tell her, but she didn't respond to me. She just stared at me. So I took a shower and went to sleep. The next day, my grandma told me to go buy vegetables to make breakfast. So I grabbed the bag that she handed me and went to the grocery store. When I was in the grocery store, I was about to check out and I saw a sign about my friend that I saw last night and my friend was missing. And I asked the lady who was checking me out, ma'am, what happened to that kid that went missing? She said, this lady in a white dress with black hair took him to the lake and drowned him. My heart dropped. And then I said, what happened to the lady? She said, the police was looking for her, but never found her. Also, there has been reports of kids going missing. I didn't know what to say, so I just paid the lady and grabbed the things I bought. I went home and told my grandma, was in complete shock. So then she said, that happens to the kids that are bad. That woman is not human. So then I told my grandma, Grandma, stop telling me those things. I don't believe in anything of that. I was getting a little mad, but she said this, you'll see someday and you will believe. So I went to my room and said, yeah, sure. At night, I finished my homework and went to sleep. But around 3 a.m., I was hearing a woman crying and screaming at the top of her lungs. So then I heard, my children. I got up, looked at the window. I couldn't believe my eyes. There she was. The same lady I saw with my friend was right there. She didn't see me, but she went to the very dark street that I saw her go with my friend that went missing. I hid under my covers and fell asleep. In the morning, I told my grandma and she believed me. I said, grandma, you're right. I saw her last night. She said, I told you she's real. So then months passed and I haven't seen her. Unfortunately, my grandma passed away. In fact, I went back to Texas and stayed there. I'm 17 years old now and I can't never get that memory out of my head.